problem that Muslims have non-veg food, but why do the Muslims slaughter the animals so ruthlessly? No, Zabiha, slowly you torture and kill the animals, slowly and steadily. You're not ruthless people. So once there was a Muslim who was having an argument with a Sikh. In India, we have Sikhs, those who wear the turban. So the Sikh was telling you, Muslims are ruthless, you are merciless. Why do you torture the animal? One jhatka, fatak, an animal dies. So the Muslim told him that you Sikhs, you are cowards. You are attack the animal from behind. We are mart ka bacha, we are masher, we attack from the front. <laughs> this is his hikma. This is not the reason why we do zabiha. It is his hikmah, he had no argument, so he said, we are mart ka bacha, masho. We attack from the front. We all are cowards, we attack from behind. The real logical scientific reason is that why do we do zabiha? Why do we slaughter in the Islamic method? In the Islamic method of slaughtering, the knife should be very sharp, it should be swift, so animals feel the least pain. Secondly, we cut the throat, the windpipe and the vessels of the neck without damaging the spinal cord. If the spinal cord is damaged, the nerve going to the heart can be severed, they can be cardiac arrest. That is the reason the spinal cord should not be cut. You only cut the throat, the windpipe and the vessels of the neck and let the heart beat. When the heart beats, majority of the blood flows out of the body of the animal. Today science tells us that blood is a very good medium of germs, bacteria and toxins. So when we let the blood flow out of the animal's body, what are we doing? We are cleansing the animal. We are removing the germs, bacteria and toxins. It's more hygienic. Furthermore, an animal slaughtered by the Islamic method of Zabiya remains fresh for a longer time as compared to an animal slaughtered by the stunning method. Because there's less blood in the animal, it remains fresh for a longer time. Furthermore, people have a misconception. People think that in the Islamic method of slaughtering, the animal dies of pain. Today science tells us that when we slaughter, when we cut the throat, the windpipe and the vessels of the neck, the nerve supply going to the brain is also cut, which is responsible for feeling of pain. So the animal does not die of pain, the animal dies a peaceful death. Unlike in stunning, many a time the animal dies after hours together. So the Islamic method is the most peaceful method. And the animal dies a peaceful death. The animal kicks and rithers, not because of pain, because the muscles are contracting and relaxing so that the blood can flow out of the body. Animal rithers because of the flow of blood, not because of pain. So the Islamic method of slaughtering is the most hygienic and the best and the humane way of killing.